<sighs> I'm about to bust. Hey everybody, welcome back into the video. So, so for those who have Game Pass on PC, I got some great, exciting news for you. As the, as the PlayStation exclusive, you know, surprisingly, Death Stranding is coming to PC on August 23rd. So on month, so on Tuesday. So I believe that's what, I believe that's the day of uh, Gamescom, from what, for, if I remember correctly. So, which is kind of funny, and maybe it was a Gamescom, supposed to be a Gamescom announcement, but because they, it got leaked, they just went ahead and decided to reveal it early, I guess. So, hey, who knows? Who knows, but anyway. So, as you could probably expect from the, from news like this, there's about to be some salt from the ponies, and, and two Xbox in particular have been exposed as being downright hypocrites. Why am I not shocked? So for, without further ado, let's get in, let's let's get with the uh, Xbox first since this is not as many as those. Here we go. So we got Snapplay re replying to this to this thread talking about the extended edition last year. Keep in mind this is 2021, mind you. Walking similar now in four, now in 4K. So and here's and here he is now. Xbox continues to dominate. Phil and Kojima giving Sony exclusives to us for nothing. Congratulations, you played yourself. Congratulations, congratulations, buddy. Welcome to the clown show, you freaking idiot. So let's see. No worry. See, you were downplaying this because it was a PlayStation exclusive. That's the only reason why you said what you said, motherfucker. And which is kind of funny because <laughs> what's funny is because I'm pretty sure the original version on the PS4 Pro was probably in 4K or at least 1440p at least. So, but which is kind of funny because we're in so. Which is kind of hilarious, because not a lot of games on console are native 4K anyway, so why that? So this is not the win that you think it is. It's not the win that you think it is, so <laughs> eat shit. So, anyway, so we got the infamous Andrea. Let's see what she has to say. Dead, empty, this lifeless, shallow, dull, bland, open world. You misspelled Death Stranding under the supposed masterpiece. And then here she, here she is! Uh, Game Pass is no rival. Obviously didn't mean with the whole um, infamous, what... Uh, about the core file in Brazil, about the whole Activision thing. So, obviously showing off the trailer for Death Straight on PC. Do you know how much water is used up every time you flush the toilet? I give... what? Three gallons. Wow, what a waste. The poor children. <laughs> oh, the poor children. Oh, the poor, all the poor Xbox who, who are suddenly flipped a 180, are essentially celebrating that Death Train is going to KFS when they were literally like three or four, two or three years ago, literally shitty on the game, so just because it wasn't on their console. How pathetic are you? <laughs> oh, it's so hilarious to see these people do, be so expose themselves as hi hypocritical. It's not just the Xbox, as you'll see in a minute. So the ponies <laughs> or. Or for some reason are flipping out over this concerning that Death Stranding is already on their su subservice PS Plus. So why are they flipping their shit over this? But anyway, without further ado, let's get to the meat and potatoes, which is the Sony fanboys who are who are calling Kojima traitor and all this nonsense. And here we go. F fuck it, traitor! Delete this. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Go ahead and hand me the phone so I can call the police. Okay, I'll do that right away. Say! <laughs> yeah, really? <laughs> go, go tell Kojima to delete this. <laughs> it's his own game that's going to Game Pass, and he's ex expressing his excitement for it for that more people will be able to play it. What the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> well, I don't know why you're freaking out about this, considering that, like, again, the game has been in PS Plus already for a while, it seems. And two, uh, the, how, the game has been on PC for like two years already. <laughs> uh, okay, okay, okay. That one was good. Okay, let's get on to the next one. Traitor. As you can see, th it's, this is going to be a common theme with this video, like where, where these ponies are calling him a traitor, even though they have already called him a traitor already, back when E3 happened and Microsoft announced their game with him. 
<laughs> so I'm gonna call him a traitor again because because the game is going to the PC version of the game is going to the you know Game Pass. It's not like the game is gonna be on Xbox, so I don't know why you ponies are getting mad over it. It's not like the game is gonna be on Xbox, which it won't be. I can assure you that, considering Sony owns the fucking IP. I assure you. So anyway, let's get on to the next one. What a trip Kojima should have never been funded. Sony are morons. Jim Ryan is a fool. Read from sheets. I am. I am. I am. Sofa King. Sofa, Sofa King. King. We Todd Ed. We Todd Ed. Ed. No. I really? How is he? How, he Kojima should have never been funded. <laughs> Oh, I can't with this. Holy shit. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> oh, this is freaking hilarious. <laughs> Could you have never been fun hit? <laughs> really? <laughs> because it's not going to kick pass. Oh my gosh. Oh, these ponies cannot stop coping over Game Pass. How much, how much of a great deal it is compared to PS Plus, which is pretty fucking trash. Especially lately, because they have been slacking on their classics offering, which was supposed to be like a big offering for it. Especially in the extra tier, but mind you. So, oh my god, this is great. <laughs> Kojima's never been funded, that one just gets me. I'm like, buddy, if Kojima was never funded, the game wouldn't even exist in the first place. Hell, did you remember, like, all those years that you fuckers were bragging about it that was exclusive to PS4? And then, and then before launch, they announced the PC version. Remember, y'all were bitching about that one. Oh, you're here again, bitching about it, because it's going going to Game Pass. So, <laughs> and I love it. Ah, so delicious. Anyway, next up, traders. Imagine selling out to Microsoft, selling out gaming. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Ah, uh, welcome back to the channel, J Wing. Welcome back to the channel. I thought you deleted your account already. I'm kind of surprised you haven't blocked me yet because I've roasted your ass multiple times when it came to the whole Spider-Man PC port, man. Oh, that was wild. I can't believe they're still saw around that, but, you know, it's still going, so... But anyway, like, selling out to Microsoft, like, wow. It's not, again, like I said, it's not like the game's going to be coming to Xbox. Sony owns the freaking IP, so this is only for the PC version, so why do you give a fuck? Especially considering the game is what a f couple years old, and two, it was already on already on PC for like, like again, it came out on PC in 2020. So, how is this selling out to Microsoft if the game was already on on PC? And two, Microsoft doesn't own PC, motherfuckers. They just own an operating system on it, which is basically what everyone uses. But that's not the same thing as owning the PC platform when the PC is you know an open platform. So. Yours is salty because it's now on the competitor to PS Plus, which is way superior than PS Plus. I don't think anyone could argue that. But anyway, moving on. Ain't nothing but a heartache. How? How is it a heartache? Like, wh what? Because it's on Game Pass again? Again, like I just said earlier, so I guess that's why it's a heartache. But even though it shouldn't be, considering you can play it through PS Plus. So... So it's already on a on PlayStation's own subservice now. If it wasn't, that'd be pretty insane. But it already is on PS Plus, so I don't see why there's a big deal about this. I really don't, because they're interested for the PC tier of Game Pass. So I don't know why this is a big deal. But but then again, ponies like to freak out over nothing. So anyway, moving on. Traitor. Oh, fucking little Goblin Junior. Gonna cry. <gasps> Kojima, do it, do it. Put Death Strand on, De put Death Strand on Xbox. I want to see them g g going on Suicide Watch <laughs> because if they think it's just this is gonna make them call you a traitor, <laughs> even though they already did back back earlier this summer at E3. So <laughs> do it, do it. Put the game on Xbox. I would fucking love that. So. <laughs> but ultimately, it doesn't really affect me all that much, so I may pick up the game at some point on PC when I get, if I, when I do, I do want to build a PC at some point, as I've kind of expressed on Twitter, you know, someday, so maybe when I do that, maybe I'll finally pick up Death Stranding and see what this game is all about. So, hey, who knows? So anyway, moving on. Kojima-san, you betrayed us at Sony! 
Oh. 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 Oh my god. Stop! My god. Just stop with saying that he's a freaking traitor. He's not. How the hell is he a traitor? Sony doesn't own Kojima. Kojima Productions is an independent studio, and second of all, Sony didn't even publish the PC version, so they couldn't, could not do jack shit, as the infamous J Tech said, into reply to someone we went over earlier on this video. Like, if Sony, Sony could not do jack, because they did not own the PC ver, they do not own the PC version of Death Stranding. They didn't publish it, 505 Games did. So that's how, that's most likely how Microsoft was able to get this deal done, because, you know, 505 Games published the PC version, while Sony did obviously did the console version, hence why it was previously a PlayStation exclusive before the PC port, which was not even a year, which actually was not even a, year, a full year, actually, which is pretty shocking, so I wonder how that got, wonder how they pulled that off, which was probably a deal that Kojima did even before, you know, the PS4 version even came out, but anyway, uh, we got one more, one more salt to go through, here we go, rat. You are coping, coping and seeding. You just can't accept what you're seeing. Yet you're coping, coping and seeding. The truth it is gone. How the how in the world is Kojima a rat? How in the world? And keep in mind that Kojima's one one of the most legendary developers in this freaking industry. It used to be called a rat. <laughs> just because the game isn't on is no longer only on PS Plus, it's not going to be on their competitor on Tuesday. Holy shit. Again, like I said before, it's not like the game will be on Xbox, which it isn't. So I don't know why y'all are calling him traitor and all this fucking nonsense. When he's not even part of Sony. He isn't. He's independent, so... <laughs> kind of like I explained earlier, kind of like I explained earlier this summer when we went over them calling him betray... Saying that he betrayed them again, because... He's making an Xbox exclusive, which I fucking love. So, which is pretty awesome. So, I'm really int intrigued to see what he does with that. So, because <laughs> how much of a genius he is. But man, my god. Like, I don't know how many more times this, the ponies are going to get salty over Death Stranding. So, I think the only thing that could really top this is somehow, some freaking how Sony somehow allows this on Xbox, which is very... Very unlikely, considering how that's just how they are with whole exclusivity and all that. So, sure, while it's exclusive PlayStation consoles, it's also on PC. It'll now be on Xbox's own sub service for the PC version of it, <laughs> and I love it. It's so great. Oh, it's so great. Oh man, jeez, that's three salt videos in one week. That's gotta be some kind of record, at least for this channel anyway. <laughs> anyway, so I mean, I'm. Kind of, I'm still surprised that this is even happening, but I think it's fantastic, really. More people get to play, experience and play the game, and I think Microsoft said eventually they want to try to get uh, PC games working with xCloud, and if that happens, maybe I'll try it through streaming or something. I don't know. We'll see, but anyway, anyway, this was great. This is hilarious news. Hilarious, but awesome news. So, by Kojima and 505, you know, publisher, publisher 505 games... But yeah, anyway, what do you guys think of this all? I think it's absolutely hilarious that the ponies lost their shit again. And that Xbox are being exposed as hypocrites over this because for years they were swearing up and down that this game was mid or, you know, stupid shit. So, and ponies are losing their crap over Game Pass again. You'd love to see it. So anyway, what do you guys think? Let me know down in the comment section below. And if you liked this video, hit the like button and consider subbing the channel so you do not miss any more videos. We are almost near 250 subscribers. I would like to reach that goal. Again, thank you very much for all your support. And I'll see you all in the next video. Later.